Hello there. Someone asked me to kind of just explain the Loki build. Um, it is a solo level cap build that I made for me. It's it's my my comfort build in a lot of ways because it does have a lot of oh, what is it? redundancy. I don't know. I don't remember the word, but it's it's basically got a backup in case anything fails. It was a heavy melee build, a, uh, a heavy attack melee build specifically. So I ran Empowered Blades to get that extra damage because it was, it was running, what is it? Hate? Yeah. Hate, so it would boost the, the damage from the heavy attack since it's a forced slash proc. But I ran Safeguard Switch just to give me that extra invincibility, or, uh, yeah, invulnerability, sorry. <laughs> And I think it's scaled to like 15 seconds. Okay, so it's 16.68. <laughs> but if I didn't have energy for a disruption, I would run Rolling Guard. Any weapons that I was using, like my Catabolus, have the hushed invisibility. But my main survivability was safe guard switch, Rolling Guard, and the invisibility. <laughs> Which is, yeah, like 30 seconds plus the 100% noise reduction. Um... Equilibrium and flow are just equal. Well, equilibrium helps with the a little bit with the, the early stages of it. I didn't really have energy problems, so I could probably switch that. But melee build, I didn't have energy problems, so I don't need to run energize. Um, fury and strike, I'm more speed, more damage. But since I'm using empowered blades, I put on. Uh, Condemn to kind of keep the shields up. And here's the uh, the hate build. Since it was Grenier, I did double up on Grenier faction damage because I have it on uh, the Prime Smy Grenier mod plus it on the, the Riven that I have. Um, I could have made the Riven stronger if I added a crit damage on top of the crit chance, but it. <laughs> I'm already at 5.9, there's not really any need for it. I mean, you could probably do it just to get a bigger funny number, but I was one-tapping most things. Um, I had problems, I think there was like two or three enemies I had an issue with, but that was because I wasn't priming them properly. The sacrificial steal for the, obviously the double crit chance on heavy attack, so just boost it up. Um, blood rush, more crit chance on like the. I, f I forget what I what I said it was. Can't remember if it was the initial impact or the slash rock. But I don't really want a killing blow, for the damage. I want it for the heavy attack wind up to get these to combine with amalgam or game shattered. Quickening because I like to build combo faster. But I also want more speed. And reflex coil, that's just a given for heavy attack. Now, I chose the Catabolus because at base it was just corrosive. So I don't... So I can slap on something like Viral. So I'm not really... Because I'm not using Condition Overload, I don't need that third element, but you could. You could do like a Heat, Viral, Corrosive kind of thing. Um, I've seen some other people run that. I can't remember exactly who. It looked pretty interesting. Um, but I ran Secondary Dexterity just to kind of give that extra bit of combo duration. You can run whatever primary, it doesn't really matter. For this setup at least. Um... What was I running? I think I was running... Actually, I could probably check that. I know I ignored the... Primary for most of the game. But you could run Cedo if you are... Priming... Pretty easier time. It's an alternative.
Oh, it was Phantasma. That's what it was. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I didn't use Condition Overload because I couldn't get it to consistently proc on the heavy attack. And I don't know if that's like intended or a bug. So primary, that's whatever you want to use. The, the focus school Naramon. Um, I was having some, I was testing this a while back, the additional 50% on lifted enemies. It wasn't consistent, but I don't know what was causing that and I haven't really figured it out. So I just kind of ignore this, uh, but it's, you can kind of use it as a crowd control if you need. And I think the main problem I was having when testing this is I had to use Eximus units to test it, otherwise I wouldn't be able to see the amount of slash that was going. Because like most enemies would just get killed. There's a 11 mil. Casually. I didn't... I didn't have any problems with the Demolist dying. Um... I don't really think there's anything other than maybe... Maybe the incarnate form for this build that would actually help it for the hate whenever that comes around. I will definitely be testing that. The corrosive did help. It did help a little bit for the the initial hit uh, to remove that little bit of armor. But again, this was just meant for priming, so it's not really meant for damage. But it did... It does seem like it could do damage. Like, it could... It does feel like it could level cap fairly easily. And I was testing this with a lot of other weapons. Um, but Condemn... Condemn worked really well for the... Acolytes. <laughs> What, because I did run this on Steel Path. It was basically a free headshot when you hit him. Does it still work on these? So yeah, no, I'd have to still break over guard. But it's, uh, it's really nice for that extra bit of shield regen. I do have three shards, one Tau Forged Ember, two regular Ember. <laughs> just for that extra bit of casting speed to kind of help that invisibility. Just like you just cast it faster, cast the one faster. I think, I don't remember if I ever actually used the Radial Disarm. I think I did at some point. Just to help with a little bit of shield gating. Well, I think I did early on and then I just kind of ignored it and went with Condemn for the shield gating. I mean, there's other ways to boost the damage. Like I said, you could probably get crit damage on it to really bump it over. I don't know, you might be able to get like 7 or 8. If you had another Tau Forge, you could probably replace one of these with a red. But this was again my preference, and this was super comfy. I didn't have any problems damaging enemies. Oh, again, it was Grenier, so the slash is really... Mwah.
Oi. That's uh, that's pretty much the the basics of the build. I don't know if I forgot anything. Yeah, somebody let me know. <laughs>